Welcome to Excel Business Math Series Number Eight. Hey, we're in the work, we're in the workbook Business Math Chapter Zero One. If you're at YouTube, you go to my channel. Dot, it's uh, YouTube.com user slash Excel is fun. You scroll down, you click on my uh, college website link, and all the way down at the bottom, I'm going to Control End are the Business Math Workbooks. Hey, if you're in the class at Highline, just go to our college website and download it. Hey, we're on the sheet call sheet tab called whole numbers and decimals. We got to talk about whole numbers. Hey, whole numbers, those are numbers to the left of the decimal point. So here's the decimal to the left. Uses 10 one place digits, 0 all the way to 9, and there are no parts of the whole. Or said another way, there's no numbers between 1 and 0 like a half. Right? So whole numbers are just bloop, these. And you use a comma every third place, which we'll see in just a moment. Hey, here's all the ones, the thousands, the millions. Ones, tens, hundreds. Ooh, thousands with an S, ten thousands with an S, hundred thousands with an S. That'll become important when we're talking about words because on the other side of the, of the decimal, it'll be thousandth THS. Then we have our millions, 10 millions, 100 millions, billions, 10 billions, 100 billions, trillions, 10 trillion, 100 trillions. Wow, that's a big number. Hey, if you're, um, I'm recording this in February 2009, we know that the federal government in the United States is uh, bailing out banks and they're spending trillions of dollars, unheard of amounts. Hey, um, now let's go talk about decimals. Oh, decimal, here's the decimal point right here. Here are the decimals over here. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, thths. those are all THs. Hundred uh, thousandths, millionths. Now, um, let's just think about the tens right here. Point one. Hey, there's, we can have um, uh, point one all the way up to nine, and finally ten, then, we, um, then that becomes a whole number. So there's actually ten parts here. That's why it's called tenths. Hundredths. Hey, there's a hundredth parts here. If you have point zero one, that is one out of a hundred parts. Hey, the hundred parts make up the number one. Here, the ten parts make up the number one. That's why we earlier said no parts of a uh, no parts of the whole or numbers between zero and one. Parts of the whole. The whole is the number one. Hey, let's look at here. It says decimals. Numbers to the right of the decimal place representing parts of the whole. A whole is the number one, as we just said a moment ago. And the parts is the number between one and zero. And the definition of a decimal, hey, a number written with a decimal, such as 4.987 or 0 0.062. Now, uh, let's see if I can highlight this whole little thing here and look at it all together, because there's one other very important uh, aspect and that's the decimal. The word and, so lots of us use this loosely, um, but the word and when you're writing out the number, which we'll do in a moment, always is associated with the decimal. So there's a bunch of whole numbers and some parts of one, the number one. Let's go down here and see if we can't look at some uh, some numbers here. Whole numbers. Hey, uh, here's a number, and here's the words for it. 15 million. Oh, yeah. And there's the commas. Every three. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. 15 million, 789,458. What about this one? 430 trillion, 457 billion, 845 million, 896,214. No ands. Uh, the and always comes at the decimal. Hey, let's try this one. 456,758,458,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
$87 and 25 cents. Why do we have to know how to do this? Because guess what? In uh, chapter four, I think it is, we do banking and checks. Very important how uh, people write checks. And you have to know how to write it like this, because guess what? If there's a discrepancy between the number you write and the words that you write out, the words take precedent. So that's a little bit about um, whole numbers, decimals, what they are, how to uh, use words to describe them, and how to write them, uh, commas, etc. Now, let's um, since we're going to be dealing with numbers here, we're going to have to talk about some formatting. Now, we already did this in great detail in Chapter 00 in our intro, but I just want to remind you about uh, a few things right here. Uh, general number and currency format. Here's the general format. Here's the uh, number format. Oh, look what the number format does. It actually uh, makes it look like there's a 46 there, but this is really the number there. Same with currency. Same with accounting. Accounting has the dollar sign fixed on the outside. Currency has it floating. Accounting lines the decimals up perfectly. Let's just see what happens when we apply our format. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control-1, and we're going to uh, see that there's general here, Control-1. You can see that on the number tab, it says general. I'm going to hit escape. Click here, control one. I'm going to apply number. Notice immediately it gives us a sample, and then I'm going to click OK. Right here, I'm going to hit control one. I'm going to go down to currency. See here, you can see the sample here, and then currency. And it just makes it look like there's 0.46. As we talked about last chapter, and we'll talk about again in just a moment, if you really want 0.46 in the cell, we'll have to see it, learn how to do the uh, round function, which we already did. Or had a brief introduction. Accounting, control one. I click on accounting. This is on the number tab. And there it is. It shows us that. Click OK. Now I'm going to scroll over. I'm going to use my little scroll. Um, actually, I'm going to use my horizontal scroll bar because I want to see something here. I don't want to see the sheets like this. And uh, uh, later we'll see uh, the date. We talked about this in chapter one, but date is the number of days since. Uh, Janu uh, December 31st, 1899. So this is really what's in the cell. That's the format. Here's a time, which we'll do uh, later in our payroll chapters. There's the number that actually sits in the cell. That date, the actual number that sits in the cell, that represents the proportion of one 24-hour day, right? Because eight hours is eight. There's three eights in 24. So if you work eight, if it's 8 a.m., that's one third of the way through the day. That again is formatting. Percentage, we talked about a lot about that in our uh, chapter 00, zero chapter. We know by now that 0 0.06 is really the number that's in the cell, even when we see that format. And finally, fraction. Uh, 1.25, the, the decimal sits in the cell, but we can uh, format it as one fourth. And we'll talk about each one of these things as the chapters come up. All right, that's a little bit about a whole uh, numbers and decimals and formatting. Uh, in our uh, coming back in our next video, we'll talk officially about rounding. See you next video.